I, I suppose unlike tuberculosis in humans, in Ireland we're talking about a two-host system here where we have the disease circulating in badgers and we have the disease circulating in cattle. And there's some interactions between the, the, the badgers and the cattle that actually leads to interspecies transmission. And then of course, if we're not addressing it in the, in the badger population, then it can spread and then spill back into the cattle. One thing we're trying to achieve with vaccination of badgers is to, is to A, we're trying to reduce the disease in badgers and reduce that impact of transmission to cattle. Over the last 20 years, we've conducted a large number of uh, studies uh, to evaluate the potential of the, of the vaccine. Now, it should be remembered that the vaccine we're using is the, the BCG vaccine, and that's the vaccine that has been used for, in humans for over uh, 100 years. Uh, and it's the most widely used vaccine ever. Uh, I suppose one of the first things we needed to do was to see, could we adapt the BCG vaccine for, for badgers and, and would it work? The results of our studies were, were very, very clear that at a population level, uh, vaccination was a very, very powerful tool to, to get rid of TB. Well, I suppose the next question that was going to be asked was if we replace culling with vaccination, is vaccination as effective as culling? Over a period of three years, we conducted a study uh, where we actually compared uh, vaccination with culling uh, in a number of areas. And the study clearly showed that there was actually no difference at the end, that the, the, the changes of incidence in cattle were the same, whether we vaccinated or, or, or culled. So that sh showed us that vaccination could actually be quite an effective replacement for, for culling. We keep hearing, hearing this concept now about herd immunity, but basically you, what you need to do is you want to get as many of your population vaccinated as quickly as possible. And the best way of doing that is to quickly identify all the sets, all the main sets, all the subsidiary sets, so you can target that population of, of badgers. And this is where farmers come in, in that they know the land better than anybody else. They know where the badger sets are. Yeah, so in communicating with the, with the department, we can actually, over large areas, identify all those key sites. And by increasing those areas, then we get larger and larger populations uh, vaccinated. And eventually, when you reach a critical threshold, which is that threshold of herd immunity, your disease naturally dies out.